Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zangi Mohemi from quantbuild.co.ke. In this video tutorial, I am going to introduce you to Archicad 24. By the end of the tutorial, you will have learned how to create a new project in Archicad, how to open an existing project, and how to set basic working units and dimensions for you to start building a project. So if you're ready, let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I have opened Archicad 24, which is the latest release from Graphisoft. And the start screen for Archicad 24 looks like what you are seeing right now. At the top right, we have... Uh, top right is this. We have uh, this icon that allows us to sign in with our Graphisoft ID to access free online services. So if you want to sign in, you click on this, click to sign in, then you'll be, uh, you will be directed to the Graphisoft website. You will uh, provide your ID and the log other login credentials to be able to be logged in. Then at the, at the top left, there's a button here written new. So this new is a button that allows us to create a new project. At the center we have browse, which allows us to browse for an existing project that is uh, located in the storage space for in our computer. And at the top, at the at, at the at the right here, we have uh, teamwork. And teamwork allows us to create teamwork projects and to participate in teamwork projects. Teamwork projects in this uh, context means that it's a project that is going to be able to, to be accessed by various members of the team, which may include an architect, an engineer, a quantity surveyor, or a general contractor. Uh, down here, we have a list of recent projects which as we can see here we are being told welcome to Akika 24 your recent pro projects will appear here so if you have any projects that have been working uh, before in Akika 24 you will populate this whole blank screen at the center that takes the most of the space and down here when you open Akika 24 for the first time you will be given a link to access sample projects and training materials. And this link takes you to uh, the official education portal for Archicad, which is developed by Graphisoft. They have a lot of uh, sample projects and training materials to help you get started with the Archicad. At uh, the bottom left, we have a button written quit Archicad and if you click on this we will be closing the 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 the, 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 the will be closing this screen and down here also at uh, the bottom right there is another one which is uh, not well highlighted it's written open selected this is used when we have a, maybe a recent project that appears at this space. If we click on that, we are able to open it using this button. So for this tutorial, what I want us to do is to create a new project. So we'll go up here, click on new, then Akikad will ask us for all those things, then we click on OK and a new project is being created and what we want to do is create a new project from this template and i'll choose from this list i'll choose Akita 24 template and then below here we have work environment profile i will choose default profile and click on new so now Akita is creating a new project for us so let's wait and see
Now, once it is finished with the, the process, as you can see, we have all this. Now we are now in Akikad. We have a new project in place. And we have this blank workspace. And we have all these menus and tabs that we'll be able to be using them to build our project, as you can see. So, before you get started with your project, the very first things that you're supposed to do is, one of these things is, you have to set your working units, set your dimensioning units, so that as you draw your walls, and as you populate uh, the graphic screen, you will uh, be working in a non-scale, in a non-unit, in uh, something that is uh, understandable. So what we do, we'll go up here under uh, Options, uh, Project Preferences, and let's go to Working Units. So this is where we set the units that we want to use. For example, we have here length unit. And if you click on the, this drop down, you have uh, this whole list of the dimensions or unit types that you can choose from meter, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. You have feet and fractional inches. You have feet and decimal inches. You have decimal feet, fractional inches, decimal inches. So based on uh, the country of your origin, you will choose uh, units that are compatible with your architectural uh, system. So for my case, I will choose millimeter. And the area unit, we measure area in square meters here. So I will have square meter. Volume is in cubic meters, of course. Angle units is in decimal degrees. The layout unit is millimeter. And we have number of numbers without units. We will be having them having a two decimal places. You can choose whatever you want. Yeah, if you want zero, if you want one, two, three, or four. Choose and the, 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 the units that that fits you well and then click on OK. Once you've done that, let's go back to Options, uh, Preferences, then Dimensions. So under, prof under Project Preferences, I want to use plain millimeter for dimensions and down here, this is what We've put with millimeter and uh, I want zero decimal degrees and for extra accuracy, let this be off. And then witness line scalability is scaled and click on OK. Now what you've just done is we've put, we, or we've set the necessary working units and uh, dimensions for our project then we can begin now exploring Akikad. so that is how to create a project using Akikad 24 i hope you've learned something from this tutorial i'll be making more tutorials on Akikad 24 so please subscribe to this youtube channel to get notified when uh, i upload new videos thank you and I will see you next time. Cheers.